Stonehenge, historian details mystery of charred Neolithic lunch sign up for for latest news plus tips to save money and the environment subscribe when you subscribe we will use the information you provide to send you these newsletters sometimes they'll include recommendations for other related newsletters or service our privacy notice explains more about how we use your data and your rights you can unsubscribe at any experts put forward a new theory on the ancient monument during BBC2 Stonehenge. The Lost Circle revealed documentary life. They now believe a dismantled stone circle in West Wales is likely to have been used as the original building blocks for the site that stands today in Salisbury. Excavations and analysis of the site at Wine Mon, in the Priestley Hills, dated the stone circle to around 3400 BC, making it the oldest found at the Stone of Stonehenge investigation was led by Professor Mike Parker Pearson of University. University College London and his team found several of the monoliths are of the same rock type and one of the blue stones at Stonehenge matches a whole left and way. But the catalyst for the new theory is almost as incredible as the discovery itself. Speaking during the documentary, Professor Alice Roberts said, Archaeologists unearthed the puzzle, sparked by the charred remains of a Neolith at the Craig Rose White Felling Quarry. The team excavated hazelnut shells from around a Stone Age fire pit. More than 5,000 years ago, somebody was sitting just around here eating some hazelnuts for their lunch, just as I am, throwing the shelves and it's an astonishing detail of Neolithic life and I love these beautiful moments for however, the discovery fueled more than just an intriguing story. Professor Roberts added, these hazelnuts introduced such a twist of the story. The charred hazelnut shells were gathered up and radiocarbon dated, and the results caused a stir. Trending they had been burned around 3300 BC, suggesting the blue stones had been quarried almost four centuries before Stonehenge was constructed. At the time of the filming, Professor Parker Pearson remarked, I think there was another place, maybe close by that these were initially dead, and it would appear his prediction came true. Experts now theorize that the stones used for Stonehenge were transported by the Neolithic civilization to become Britain's first monument to unification in 3000. Radiocarbon dating previously suggested the structure was second-hand and its smaller blue stones stood for four centuries in another location after being quarried in South Wales. Professor Parker Pearson believes it is possible that people moving eastward and bringing their cultural crown jewels with them from ancestral homelands in Wales as it was already known that the smaller blue stones that were first used to build Stonehenge were transported transported from 50 miles away in modern-day Penn, but Weinmon is now being tipped as the original monument because it lies next to quarries where Stonehenge's smaller blue stones originate. Its perimeter ditch has the same diameter and is also aligned with the Midsummer Sols. Archaeologists believe this could explain why the blue stones used at Stonehenge were brought from so far away. While most circles are usually constructed within a short distance of with only a few of the Stonehenge stones directly linked to Weinmon. The archaeologist believes monoliths from other stone circles could have been taken from Wales to form part of them. Professor Parker Pearson said, with an estimated 80 blue stones put up on Salisbury Plain at Stonehenge and nearby Blue Stonehenge, my guess is that Wymon was not the only stone circle that contributed. Maybe there are more increasingly waiting to be found. Who knows? Someone will be lucky enough. You can watch Stonehenge, The Lost Circle revealed on BBC iPlayer.